Hi guys, um, we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to get your own map into this panorama, like what we have here. Exciting, eh? Okay, so, first thing you need to do is go into the map you want to uh, use as your panorama. This is one in 1.7, um, which I made just to check out the shiny water mod. Um, so go in and have a quick scan around, make sure it's all loading up. Give it a couple of minutes to do its thing. Uh, the last thing you want is big squares missing, like that. Now we're going to have to do this fairly quickly, um, in fact, let's just uh, pop the old sun back up. Now what you want to do is first off, F1, get rid of your HUD. Now we want to take screenshots and we want to do the four cardinal points, so uh, north, east, south, west, but we want to do mid midways as well, um, just to generally help stuff. So you go screenshot, 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 try and keep it levelish, it doesn't matter too much. Um, and then we want to do a straight up shot, a straight down shot, and if you want, you can do sort of halfway down shots as well. I do it. Um, and halfway up shots. Halfway up shots aren't quite so needed unless you've got lots and lots of clouds in the sky. But the thing is, we're going to need to do it quick because that sun keeps moving. So, I mean, you can go bang, 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 whatever. Um, but the quicker you can do it, the better. Um, to stop the movement. So we'll do that. Um, I won't because I've already done that and we'll go to the next stage but remember eight, eight around in a circle and you can do another eight around there if you want and another eight around there if you want. Just make sure you know that shot is overlapping that shot is overlapping that shot um, for what we will see next. Okay so in potato shop you want to go File, Automate, Photo Merge. Browse to your Minecraft folder, which is in App Data Roaming. Minecraft Screenshots. Scrolling roll down. Pick your first shot, which is that one in this case. Last one in that one with a shift. OK that. You get them come in and then OK, and it'll do its funky stuff for a bit. Now, depending on the size of your screenshots, the power of your computer, etc., etc., it will take a few minutes while it does its thing. It's all uh, doing clever things and lining stuff up and shifting it around and cropping it and masking it and what have you and just think about it okay creating seamless composition lovely right now then um, this is all in layers at the moment, so what we need to do is first off, flatten it. Control E, and they're all selected. So this is your obviously up in the air, this is your down at the ground, and this is the rest. Now, what we have is you'll find a spot over here that is repeated over here, and it's this tree is a good place to pick, is any? 
or this tree here, or something like that. Anyway, zoom in on it. Um, let's see what we'll pick that very point on the edge of that little beach there, and then scroll it over, zoom back in, pull out another one. Boshity bosh, lovely. Now, we need to do a ground plane. Um, let's have a look at this. We've got a little notch in the beach there, and I know for a fact that that is that little notch there. We haven't quite got the chest in, so let's bring it down to just above the chest. Mm, why have you bought that? I don't want that. Come on, pick that one up. Thank you. Okay. Um, and then sky. We've got nothing in the sky. Seems to be a big cloud here. But you know what? We'll ignore him because he's just complicating matters. So there you go. That's a nice rectangular chubby job. Let's use the marquee tool, select him, and we're happy. We'll control C, copy it, control N, new document, OK, control V, paste it in. Now, first thing we're going to do, more than anything else, is filter other offset. At this point in time, it doesn't really matter how much we offset it. But what we do want to know is, right, how big is this bloody document? Um, it is 4,480 something. So let's do 2,000. Okay, so that gives our crop point right in the middle. And you can see the line there, and it's not too bad probably in fact get away with that um, where things are really bad like that you can perhaps just give a bit of a blur or get the smudge tool give a bit of a just to smooth the color change in slightly doesn't matter because it's going to be blurred to buggery when it goes into Minecraft um, you want you can get the um, clone tool put some random clones in like that again doesn't have to be exact all we're doing is trying to get rid of that hard edge and we're going to shrink it down tiny in a minute anyway so image size Turn off constraint proportions. We want it a nice number that's easily divisible by four. Um, so we do four, 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 four. That's close enough. And then height is a quarter of the width. Which is one, 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 one. Okay. You stretch it slightly. It doesn't matter. Now. Canvas size, um, we want it three times the height. Make sure it's in the middle. Lovely. So bring down a guide to 1111, bring down a guide to 2222, bring a guide across here to 1111, which is not quite there, so you have to zoom in. Control on that. One, 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 one. Good. Now, I'll go back to the original panorama. Oops. Drag a marquee around this one. Copy it. 
paste it in there, drag it over there, back in here, mark it over this one, copy that, paste it there, right. Control T gives you, uh, I mean, it's also edit, free transform. Um, we need to make this square, so drag it around there, it should jump to the corners and to the guides, um, and that's one more one wide, one more one high. Okay, that's super. Now, change layers to the sky, control T on that. Again, drag it, squish it. Check your info that it's a one 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 one. Lovely. Now, these two are not aligned. So go back to the original big wide layer. Um, and you've got two options really. You can drag it to your happy at the point it is. And then duplicate the layer and then drag the top one back so it joins that. In fact that's probably your easiest way of doing it in all honesty. Make sure it's all closed up fully. Next thing to do is hold down control and nudge it with your cursor keys. Okay um, Make sure all the layers are selected. Control E. Fat them. Pay uh, pay close attention to where you join those two. Looks good. Right. Uh, image. Canvas size. Oops. Sorry, not canvas size. Image size. Make sure constraint proportions is back on. Ten twenty four. Wide. Okay. Now we drag another one over here to 512. Oh, I had that there. There you go. And another one to 768, which is there. Cool. Now, marquee, shift and drag. And there. Now, copy, new, OK, V back. Make sure the marquee tool is selected and you can just drag it along. Hold down shift to make sure it doesn't slide anywhere and it should jump right, in, right into there. Snap to points. Um, copy again. Paste. Back. Drag it along. Hold shift. Copy. Paste. And again. Copy and paste. Now, um, drag it back up here. Copy, paste, and drag it down here. Copy, paste. There you go, you've got your six. Let's bring that window over here. Six layers. Now, deselect all of them apart from the one. File, save for web and devices. PNG 8. Save up. Let's do a new folder. A panorama. Open that up. Um, just a matter of interest, these here are the original I've pulled out of the jar. Um, and it needs to be called, well, in fact, we'll go here, look, Panorama Zero. All lowercase, save. Repeat for each one of these. And the last one is looking down, and that's Panorama 5. Okay, next we need to open our Minecraft 1.8, which 
Jar, it's probably called Minecraft One Point. It's probably just called Minecraft Jar. If you downloaded it, I've renamed it so it doesn't overwrite my One Point Seven. Um, open with WinRAR. With bottom folder called Title. Open that up. Inside there is BG. Open up your Panoramas folder. Select them all. And just drag over and OK it. Close that down. Jobs are good. And I'll rename that to 1.7. Rename that to Straight Minecraft. Start Minecraft. Yay! There's our world. You can see our lovely uh, rainbow and stuff. Now, I've had a few goes at this. Um, generally, you want something with a lot of sky and sunshine. If you do a nighttime one, you will find it very grey. Blacks aren't black. Um, it makes it makes them grey. Um, and you'll find it looks quite sort of sooty and generally pup. So bear that one in mind. Um, and well, maybe we'll see people uploading some nice panoramas we can use. Um, I don't know, if, I mean I'm not a Cody by a long shot, so I don't know if there's any way of changing the amount of blur on this somehow in the code. Obviously the less blur there is the more accurate you're going to have to be with your panoramas. And I'm sure the Mojangles probably have some better way of creating the panoramas um, without running around with the clouds moving around. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a game dev. I don't work for Mojang. So um, yeah I hope that helps. People have some good fun and uh, come and watch the rest of my videos. Take care. Bye-bye.